my name is Allison. I'm taking over uh, ITA story to talk about life in Kuwait. And my day has just started. Um, it is 7.15 in the morning um, where I am. First Kuwait story. I'm very excited. So I've just posted a little box for you guys to ask questions in in the previous um, story. So if you have any questions that you're dying to know about, please let me know and I will do my best to get back to you. We do have a curfew here in Kuwait at the moment. Um, and it's also Ramadan, so um, it's a little bit crazy um, at the moment. But I will get to all of your questions um, promptly. So I have been in Kuwait since November 2020 and have been teaching here since that same time um, at the American International University in Jahda. I am originally from Boise, Idaho um, and I have been loving my time here. It's so I came outside to my um, hallway because I'm going to give you a brief tour of my apartment that I am renting myself. It was a hassle finding it but I am so so happy I found it and here we go. This is my front door, and um, it doesn't have any numbers yet because it's brand new. Yeah, and I'm having my breakfast here. I have to furnish all of this, um, but I'm very excited. It's a little extra expense, but um, I love my windows. It's wonderful. I can see the road. This is Fifth Ring, which gets very, 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 very busy. Um, over here we have. Um, a city called um, Sabah al Salem, and then you can see the ocean from here. It's very, very beautiful. Um, this whole place is just absolutely amazing. Um, so this is my kitchen. Um, it, this, this was all here um, given to me with the apartment. Um, I, of course, have my air fryer, um, an espresso machine, which I just made coffee in, um, and I bought my dining table, um, having a very Arab breakfast with my coffee, um, the um, washing machine and dryer also came with the apartment, I, everything else I have basically put in myself, like my little shoe rack, coat rack, and then this is my bathroom, very western bathroom, um, it's just very normal, yeah, the only difference is the hose, which um, I very grateful for. I enjoy being clean. And the shower, which is very normal. Um, and it, I do have a one bedroom apartment. This is my bedroom. Um, I have furnished everything here. The closets, of course, came with the place. Um, I have my TV in here because, as you saw, I don't have a couch yet. <laughs> um, but all of this is just mine. I still have to get some other furniture. I bought my bed I have to get curtains because it's so bright here in Kuwait the sun is absolutely um, I would say hot but it's hot everywhere but not like in Kuwait the absolute hottest place I have ever lived in it's absolutely insane but yeah this is my little my little place I'm gonna eat some breakfast So I've just posted my expenses, my monthly expenses, that's usually every month. Um, of course right now since I am in the new apartment, I have a lot more expenses. Um, but I do drive and I just wanted to touch on that really fast because everyone is always really shocked that I drive here and I love it. It's really fun. Um, you get to go really fast. You just have to of course watch out for the speed limit and everyone else around you. you have Make sure you're following the rules so that you stay safe and that everyone around you stays safe because it can get a little crazy, especially with the traffic and the curfew just makes the traffic even worse. So um, it's good to be aware. So normally I would um, go shopping after work, but because of the Ramadan schedule and the curfew, um, I am shopping in the morning. Um, usually my uni schedule is from about 9.30 or 9 to 3, but because of Ramadan, my schedule is from 10.30 to 2, and so is the shopping, so I'm shopping out. 
Um, this is the avenues. It's a very popular place for people to come and shop. It's also very, 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 very large. There's like three of the same shops in the entire place. Um, it's I just finished my first class and I thought I'd show you guys the um, classroom that I'm usually in. Um, it is very empty because we're online. Um, so it, this is basically everyone's classrooms. Um, we have a monitor for when we're in person, a projector, it's a smart board. I don't know how to use them because we haven't had any students here. Um, projector and some tables for the students. We have a podium, which is nice, and a very nice view of a B building, which is where the cafeteria is. Unfortunately, everything is closed. Um, we also have a gym here, which I love. Um, it's one of the perks of working here. Um, I also wanted to show you guys the faculty offices. Um, we do share, as the English um, Foundations Department, um, an office. And basically what it is, there's someone in here with me. Everyone else is in class, but we do also have a privacy pod, which is very nice. Um, and yeah, the, everything basically has very large windows, which is nice for the sunlight. And it also has a very nice view of the courtyard. Hi, I'm getting a question about um, what the qualifications are to work in, in Kuwait, especially when teaching. Um, the majority of people do have a bachelor's degree, but some schools do require you to have a master's or be working on your master's while you are teaching. Um, this is quite standard. Um, some experience is sometimes needed. I had about a year of teaching experience, especially in ESL. Um, and it really helped me get this job. So if you um, can get experience before you get here, um, it really, really helps. Um, I got certified, of course, with um, ITA, and I'm so happy I did because it really, really prepared me to um, come here. I also was in South Korea before this, um, and I really, liked the cultural research um, part of it. It really, really prepared me to come here. I did it on Kuwait because I had it set that I wanted to be in Kuwait. So um, it really helped me understand the culture and the traditions and things that had to be done. Um, and I took the um, online part-time ITA certification. Um, I was working full-time in the past as an admin assistant. Um, COVID we have curfew right now as a measure of safety. Um, masks are mandatory if they find you, if the police finds you with no mask. You could be fined or even deported. And so I wouldn't risk doing that. Um, at the university, everyone is supposed to wear uh, masks, of course. There is no in-person teaching. We are all teaching online. They're hoping that perhaps we can get back to in-person teaching in September, um, but at the moment, we have the curfew um, trying to help to make the situation better. Um, hopefully it does. When it comes to visas, um, I am here on a special visa for essential personnel because teachers are seen as essential personnel here, and I have to do renew it every three months and the university takes care of that so I don't have to be doing it myself um, which is very nice I don't want to have to deal with the government as much uh, I don't speak Arabic um, but it is all 
um, really up in the air at the moment because of COVID and because of other politics things that are happening here in Kuwait. Um, hopefully I will be getting a civil ID here soon, which is um, kind of like a residency card um, that will last as long as my contract lasts. Um, our contracts here usually take their about two years. There isn't anything shorter that I have seen. It's usually two years. I have a question in the DMs about how many hours um, I work and <laughs> funny question because I work I teach 20 hours a week um, but I'm basically working the rest of the time um, I do keep my weekends to myself of course and myself and my friends getting my nails done which I really need to do um, taking spa day just going to the salon um, or going to get food we have in-car dining at the moment because dining in a restaurant is um, not possible you either get delivery um, pickup or you eat in your car they have these like special tables things that they go in your car and then you eat in your car which is really interesting really cool maybe i'll do that later um not today but it will um take place of in restaurant dining which um i'm excited to get back to because it's a whole vibe